What inspired you to open your restaurant? I am professionally uh, executive, information security and information technology, but I always like to serve people. And I thought that a restaurant is a good way to parlay into that area. So when I first bought this business, it didn't seem like a business to me. It was more like something that I love to do. And I, um, I've enjoyed it for the past 17 years. Now I'm retired and this is my full-time thing. How have you been able to achieve success with your franchise? One of the main reasons for success, the location is ideal. Love the location. And my staff retention is key. I have consistency in my staff. My chefs have been with me from day one. They have never left. And everyone knows that my customers say they come and they see familiar faces. I try to make sure that I take care of them. This is one of the few restaurants you might find that have a 401k plan. I ensure that they all have good health care. Even if I can't pay for it, I guide them through the process. So I make sure I do the things that will make them want to stay with me. And I think that makes a difference in being successful. You have to have a team working with you. Who are some of the most influential women to you? Growing up, I had a lot of strong women in my family and around me. Like my grandmother was a good example of that. She made do with whatever she had and made us comfortable. And also my mother, who was also had a business in Jamaica. So she had a similar restaurant type business. So I take that from her. What challenges have you faced as a black woman in business? The number one challenge you face as a woman doing business is finding financial resources outside because you have to work with institutions that don't necessarily think that we are going to be successful and they'll get their money back. So that's a big challenge for women of color. And we start business more than any other ethnic group, but they fail. And the, one of the basic reasons why we fail, financial resources. How have you used success to help the community and other women? I always work with um, feeding the needy, the homeless, the ones that are homebound, especially during Thanksgiving. We feed over 500 people through Christ Temple Church and they'll take meals in to the, need, to the homebound and the needy will come in and eat and here they know that if there's someone that needs something they could always send to us and we will um, help out. For the community, I'm a member of a Sisters to Sister International. That's just one of the associations that I'm a member of. And there we try to work with the black woman and girl try, child, trying to you know, show up areas that we think there's a deficiency. What advice do you have for young women looking to start businesses? You need to make sure you have a business plan. You have to know what it takes. Do your research. Have a mentor. And don't just jump in and then when you, because it's not going to be easy, especially in the beginning, make sure you know what you're doing. You might not have the finances, but you will also survive. What is your favorite Golden Crust meal? Well, my favorite Golden Crust meal is stew peas and rice. I love stew peas and rice. So that would be my favorite. I think the favorite for my customers here is oxtail, the braised oxtail. Come to Golden Cross White Plains and savor the flavor of our fantastic Jamaican cuisine. <laughs>